Hey guys, it's Anne and welcome to my channel. For this video, I'm showing you how I like to draw portraits. So I'm always gonna put a disclaimer when it comes to art videos that there is no such thing as a right or wrong way to do your type of art. Whatever works best for you is for you. You do you, boo. <laughs> but today I'm gonna show you how I like to draw my faces. And obviously there are so many different methods, but this is the one that works best for me. I like to do more gesture drawings at the beginning. Um, I kind of make my sketches like it, it literally starts from a rough sketch and then more to a refined sketch. So we're starting out with a circle and putting a line in the middle. I'm sure a lot of you have probably seen this. And then I put a general shape for the chin and jaw line. And now I'm putting a oval kind of where the bottom of the nose hits and that's usually like a third up from the chin and then another third up is where the eyes go. So yeah, oh, that one <laughs> started out a little low, but we fixed it, we fixed it. And now I'm going in with kind of like the button of the nose. Now I found all these pictures from Pinterest. I literally just searched like portrait reference photos, reference drawings and stuff like that. And there's a plethora of images that you could look at. And now we're doing the mouth. So when looking at the mouth, you wanna look at where the corners of the mouth hit um, as far as like the distance from the side of the nose and then how low it goes. And I'm sure you're wondering why I erase that. But like I said, we're going from a rough sketch to a more refined sketch. So I like to start with the middle. When I start to refine, I like to start with the nose and I go to the nostrils and the sides of the nose. And for whatever reason, I kind of like to put the highlight it kind of helps me with proportioning, but I'm going to be honest, I think it kind of just looks cute. When you're doing the corner of the eyes, make sure you're looking at the sides of the nose to see how far out it goes. And create somewhat of this almond shape. Now, this is where everyone is different. I mean, everyone's face is different, so you just have to constantly reference your photo. And for this photo, she was looking off to the side. And sometimes that manipulates the shape as well. The lid, the eyelid kind of moves more towards that direction. I hope that makes a little bit of sense. Um, but another thing with drawing portraits and drawing eyes, don't ever assume that they look like sisters. Like I would never say to look at one eye and then draw just the other eye by referencing the one that you drew. Always look at the photo because they're never gonna look the same. Especially when they're looking, you know, to the side. And now I like to put in kind of like that shadow that appears underneath the brow bone and then Hit her with the brow, hit her with the brow. And I put some subtle indications of eyelashes because we're just kind of going through and sketching. And then I'm working on the top lip. I looked at the distance from the bottom of the nose to find the top of the lip. And then the sides of the mouth, you gotta reference like the sides of the nose. Like you literally just have to reference everything around it to make sure that everything is proportioned correctly. So when I was first growing up and creating portraits, I know that some people suggest the grid method, but over time I've realized that doesn't work for me. A lot of times something is always off and I think the problem is when you are focused way too much on each little individual square, it's hard for you to see it as a bigger picture and usually something is off, like an eye is off, kind of like how mine was in the beginning. <laughs> but even though we fixed it, okay. Uh, but here we are going to, um, I'm gonna show you how we're going to do a side profile. But as I was saying with like the grid view, I think it's still good to use. And you know, here I'm kind of using dotted paper. So it's still like cool to have that like guide as far as like a ruler goes. 
but to still just keep in mind the overall picture. So here, I liked how her nose was a little bit more up. She's like sitting her chin a little higher. Um, so I kind of wanted to capture that perspective for you guys. And throughout this video, I definitely wanted to make sure that I included a number of different ethnicities, genders, ages, facial expressions, so I could give you a variety because you're never truly going to know how to draw faces unless you know how to draw all of them. Now, once you've mastered front facing portraits, it usually changes, no, everything changes once it turns to the side. Um, this is a little bit more difficult to master, um, but mainly because everything is on an axis, so things aren't centered and proportions kind of change a little bit, but everything's a little bit similar. You just have to be more observant. Um, my difficult areas are usually the eyes and the jawline and the ear. If you make them too close or too far apart, you can make your person look a little wonky and the head look a little bit big. So just again, practice makes perfect, but just be sure to make that eye that's like further out, you know, the one that's more turned away, uh, closer to the nose as opposed to where the other one is. So yeah, focus on the eyes mainly. My opinion is like, I think the eyes are, as they say, like the eyes are the windows to the soul, but I think the fact that we look at eyes so much is if you get the eyes right, then everything kind of falls into place a little bit better. But we all know when one eye is off, that sucker is off and it is so hard to look at. <laughs> But anyways, guys, for this next one, we are doing um, this guy. His head is tilted and also more upwards, a lot more upwards, actually. So I definitely liked how you could see more below his chin. Um, and this is definitely a great perspective to practice as well. We get more of the nostrils, okay? And then this nose. Look at how that shape, that shape is so weird. But everything is kind of at a curve now as you saw i kind of made a curve where the eyes go because the corners and even um just we all know our eyes are um spheres <laughs> i know that seems so obvious to say but i think when people are drawing it sometimes they forget and kind of make them look flat and don't forget that and they forget that they curve you know so even then like the the mouth curves the hairline curves and the bottom of the chin it's weird it, it goes upwards and I know it feels weird to draw but just make sure to follow your gut and trust your eyes for this next portrait we are drawing a little bit of a younger girl and she's also looking up squinting her eyes and um, smiling so I wanted to point all these things out because I just think that these are all valuable things to practice um, because the nose tends to scrunch up her eyes wrinkle a little bit more on the side because she's squinting and obviously you have grin lines so funny story my sister is actually a photographer and I remember when we were younger um, she would have me sit next to her as she was editing photos and she was trying to get rid of blemishes and unnecessary wrinkles just practicing that on photos she took of me and i was like maria why do you take out my grin lines she's like what are you talking about i'm like my grin lines i need those like that looks unnatural <laughs> it just looked like my mouth was like plastered on my face and ultimately it was pretty funny and we both learned that it's okay to have a couple wrinkles all right <laughs> And it's also okay to be missing a couple of teeth. But this portrait made me so happy. And it was a good starter because our next one, I don't know who made this next guy mad, but somebody at the grocery store made him mad, okay? But we're gonna call him Paul. I don't know who pissed off Paul, but here he is. <laughs> we definitely had to include somebody that was older and with maybe a little bit of an unpleasant 
um, facial expression. I wouldn't say it's too bad, but he is grimacing a little bit. But with him being older, obviously he has some wrinkles and his skin sits just a little bit differently. Not gonna lie though, he seems to look good for his age. So even though you pissed Paul, you seem to look good. <laughs> um, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to include as many tips as I could. Um, ones that I've learned with drawing portraits. But I hate to sound like somebody's auntie, but Auntie Annie has to say that. <laughs> Practice makes perfect in life and especially art, okay? Let's be real. All because things don't turn out the way that you wanted it in the first place doesn't mean you should give up. You don't necessarily fail until you quit. Just keep on trying and things are going to make sense along the way and who knows, after a while you're going to kind of pick up a routine kind of like I have and it'll start to become a second nature to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you learned something new. If you happen to try out some of my tips or tricks, please be sure to tag me on Instagram or TikTok. I'd love to see your practice sketches and to see you guys glow up, okay? And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we want you here for a long time and not just a good time. And make sure to leave a comment of what videos you would like to see from me next, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.